Good morning, everyone. My name is Kristen Myra, and I am Pam Myra's eldest daughter. One word that comes to mind when I think of my mom is dedication. She's always consistently dedicated to any t project she undertakes. Whether it's pouring 100% into me and my siblings growing up for our education, or door knocking over 12,000 homes as she ran for her first office um, as state representative to volunteering her time and skills in political organizations and church groups. I am positive that my mom will show the same dedication and uh, hard work as she, um, as she becomes state auditor for Minnesota. As a fellow CPA and auditor myself, I happily nominate my mom for state auditor of Minnesota. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Carrie Allman, the immediate past president of the National Federation of Republican Women. And I am honored to be here today and speak on behalf of Pam Myra. I've watched Pam take Minnesota Federated Republican Women to new heights, and I know she will do the same for the Minnesota State Auditor's Office. Thank you. Thank you so much, nominating committee, for your report, and representative, for your kind shout out, and Kristen, my eldest daughter, and Carrie, thank you so much. And I want to thank you. Thank you for being here, bright-eyed and ready. What a commitment and dedication. The expense you've paid, the time, and the effort. You really have my sincere thanks. About a month ago, I was making fundraising calls and I called an individual and he got on the line and I could hear how nervous he was in there. He, and he said, well, my executive assistant said this was the auditor. And I said, no, 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 I'm, I'm not that auditor. I'm the auditor you want. <laughs> I want to clear something up. I won't be auditing any of you, and the office will not be auditing any of you. I will be, and the office will be auditing for you. I will be leading the office, <laughs> and setting the tone to do financial and performance audits and reviews of governmental units and programs to find out if they're effective and efficient. And uh, to have transparency and accountability. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> I have a question for you. Do you want accountability and transparency in how our government resources are used? Yes! yes. So do I. When I was in the legislature, I served from the beginning of 2011 through the beginning of 2015. And I chief authored a bill, actually two bills, on government transparency. And it was so interesting to me. You know those bills passed unanimously in the House and were signed by the governor? It seems it's a unanimous that people do want transparency and accountability in how their resources, their tax dollars, are used. I have another question for you. Do you want an auditor who is experienced and knowledgeable about auditing? Yes! <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I'm a certified public accountant with an active license, a former audit manager at an international public accounting firm. And I was asked a number of times to run for this office and I just always kept saying no. And then. The last time I was asked, I didn't say no. I actually decided, you know, I'm going to go look at the U.S. or the Minnesota Constitution, see what it says. And I did. And it directed me to Minnesota statute. And I was sitting there and I started to tremble. I trembled out of anger. It's outdated and it needs to be worked on to be better and more effective to protect our resources, government resources, our tax dollars. And so I am so excited to be able to take on this role and run for this candidacy. I thought, you know what? 
I can be that catalyst to change that statute and work with the legislature, work with the governor, not against the governor as the current auditor has. I have another question for you. Do you want to win? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> You know, this seat is one of only two statewide seats that is open. The current auditor is running for governor. And with my qualifications, there is a clear path to victory. I would greatly appreciate your support, greatly appreciate your endorsement today. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, because we only have one candidate, the body may move to handle the process without ballots, or we could do clay tablet, your choice. So I would entertain a motion to vote by rising acclamation. Do I have a second? All in favor of voting by rising acclamation, say aye. Aye. Those opposed? <laughs> Tough crowd. Motion carries. All right. So. All of those in favor of endorsing Pam Myra for State Auditor, please rise. We got it. Now we have a little bit of time to say thank you. Well, that was easy. Thank you. <laughs> I like that a lot better than these other races. My goodness, that was fun and it was fast. Um, thank you. Thank you for the endorsement. And I want to thank my incredible campaign team, and I want to thank my family. They have been working tirelessly, and we will continue to work very, very hard. I want to let you in on a, a little, well, it's not really a secret, but it's little known, why I use yellow on my logos. In the 1970s, state auditors from across the country got together and they went to Congress and said, we want standard standards for government auditing. They wrote those standards. The Governmental Accountability Office wrote those standards and they were so good, they called them the gold standard. But it seems so lofty that instead, they called them Yellow Book. <laughs> Those standards have been revised a number of times, but they still are called Yellow Book. So when you see my logo and you see that yellow, I want you to remember, Pam Myra is a certified public accountant with an active license. She's a former audit manager, an audit manager at an international public accounting firm, and she is going to follow Yellow Book. Government auditing standards. And <laughs> hashtag auditor for auditor. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag CPA for MN state auditor. I need your help in a couple of things. CD chairs, please let me know those big events in your area because I want to be there for you. Delegates, I've got signs. Would you please pick one up from my campaign table? And I would also really appreciate if you would follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At Pam, no, at Pam for Auditor. At Pam for Auditor. And last, would you please financially support my campaign? You can do it three ways. And by the way, I'm just going to make a little announcement here. Someone was really generous yesterday and dropped a really big bill in my anonymous donation bucket. I do not want to turn that over to the campaign finance board. So if you donated a bill that was bigger than $20, would you see my folks and claim it? <laughs> But you can, you can give anonymously up to $20. Otherwise, you can go online and securely donate, or you can send money to my P.O. box. 
And if you opened your program for this weekend, on the inside cover is information on how to contact my campaign and how to donate. Thank you so much. I appreciate your being here. I truly appreciate your endorsement. Have a wonderful convention. Thank you.